Joining us in Decision 2020, it was everything we thought it would be. The first debate of the 2020 presidential election, delivering fireworks and drama as both candidates at times lob personal attacks at each other. It was a clash of policy and personalities in Cleveland. President Donald Trump and Democratic nominee Joe Biden squaring off in their first face-to-face -face matchup this election. The candidates sharing a debate stage as the U.S. faces the coronavirus pandemic and a racial justice movement that has gripped the nation. An opportunity for each candidate to paint their opponent as wholly unfit to lead the nation through it all. Moderator Chris Wallace challenging the candidates on six topics during the 90-minute event. Will you Who shut is up, man? Listen, this We've is so this unprecedented. He's the court. There's nothing smart about you, Joe. Everything he's saying so far is simply a lie. I've done more than you've done in 47 years, Joe. He wants to shut down this country. Oh. And I want to keep it open. The president has no plan. Well, we know a lot of you are talking about what was said between the two. At times, both Trump and Biden and even moderator Chris Wallace were all talking over each other. But it's the body language of tonight's debate that can be maybe even more revealing. Team 12's Mitch Carr reached out to an expert on the subject. And Mitch, what did you find out? Good evening, Tracy Brown has learned to expose the lies of criminals or witnesses in court cases through their body language. So tonight we asked her to take a look at President Donald Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden. She told us she could see plenty without having to hear a thing. One place where President Trump's true emotions were easy to see was on the economy. He was both proud and defensive. That hit Trump really hard, and you saw him start to fluff his feathers. Did you see him? Did you see him uh, open up his chest like that? I brought back 700,000 jobs. They brought back nothing. They gave up on manufacturing. On masks, Brown says he may actually have been afraid. I believe Trump is actually fearful of putting on his mask. A you have mask? to understand, if you look, I mean, I have a mask right here. I put a mask on, you know, when I think I need it. He, he, he pulled his lips back, or the corners of his mouth, when he, he pulled his mask out and he was talking about it. And um, I, think, I think he's terrified of wearing a mask. As for Biden, he is a trained politician. It's not his brand to be really emotive. And the only time he really showed emotion was when his sons were mentioned. With Biden, like he's, he's just more polished. Now, on the lines of those polish, it's worth noting that Biden did tell Trump to shut up. He did tell him sarcastically, keep yapping. So it wasn't all polish all the time with Joe Biden. And that's why uh, she told me that whether you understand body language or not, tonight's debate did very little to inform voters who still haven't decided how to cast their vote for. Live from the Information Center, Mitch Carr, 12 News.